Hi writers, how are you? Welcome back. Well, we just learned from reading the story, The Night of the Veggie Monster, that the author, George Clements, he used some really cool things that writers can do. Let's just remind yourself of those. We can use the exclamation point. That's a big word for this mark at the end of a sentence. When something is exciting. Look, I used three exclamation points there. I might use that trick in my story. We can make some words stand out by writing them in a kind of a different way. Like here I wrote spooky, all shaky, yikes, all in uppercase and fast. I put some fast marks behind it. We can use the dot, dot, dot to show a fun part is coming up. You've probably seen that in some books. All right, so do you remember my story about the movie theater? Here I am writing about the beginning. Okay, so let's see. I want to jump right into my story. You know what? I think I want to talk about the popcorn. Maybe I'll say crunch. Ha, look how I wrote crunch, all fun. Crunch. My popcorn. was buttery and yummy. Hmm, now I want to kind of show that a problem is going to happen soon. Maybe I might say the movie was great until oh I know what I'm going to use the dot 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 because that's going to show that something is going to happen on the next page hmm do you see how I used two writer's tricks there I changed how I wrote crunch. Maybe I can even make those letters stand out, make them a little bit darker. I'll have to do that part after. And maybe later I'll also think, what movie shall I be watching? So there's the dot, dot, dot. Okay, there was my beginning. Now I'm going to write the middle. Now I already used one of those writer's tricks before I put ring all in uppercase to show it was really, really loud. Phone I labeled. Okay, so what I want to say on this page, what's happening in the picture? I'm embarrassed. I've got an angry man. My phone made a loud noise. Hmm. Maybe I could say until my phone. Look, I have to make my Y and my P dig below the line. My phone. St. St. Blend. Start. Ed to ring. I think I'm going to end that with an exclamation point because that was a pretty exciting part of my story and I don't want to just put a period. I want to put an exclamation point. My face went v very red. I think I'm going to put red all in uppercase. I'm going to make my red really stand out. And then maybe later I'll get my red crayon and I'll fill in these letters with a red, of course. My face went very red. Oh dear. Hmm, here's the end of my story. Remember I thought, oh man, and she was saying, turn that off. So you can add thinking bubbles and talking bubbles as well to say even more in your story. What should I have for the end here? Hmm, this is when I felt really embarrassed. It's good to tell your readers how you, f you feel. I was so, look at how big I wrote, so, so embarrassed. Let's see. Embarrassed. That's a really big word. Three syllables in it. Eh, eh. M bear. 
Hmm, something doesn't feel right about that. I have to check, do I need one R or two or maybe two S's here? Even grown-ups make mistakes with their spelling. And that's okay, we're all learning. And English has lots of tricky parts, so I'm gonna have to check that word later. I was so embarrassed. Maybe I'll end that with an exclamation point. Now, you know what happened in real life? I slunk down, I made myself really small in my chair. I slunk, do you know that word when you make yourself really small? D, ow. The ow sounds tricky, it's O-W, down in my ch, oh the C-H digraph, air. Now I don't have to say that then I went home and then I had dinner and I went to bed and all that because that would turn into a big watermelon story and then and then and then. I can end my story right here when like the big part just happened. Okay? All right, so writers, it's your turn now to write your story, the beginning, the middle, and end. You can add some labels and some thinking bubbles or some speech bubbles to say what people were thinking and saying and feeling. And yeah, that would be great. And so work on this today and send your work to your teacher. If you're feeling like, oh, I've done a lot I've done my beginning and my middle, maybe I'll save my end for tomorrow. That's okay too, because you want to write when you're in a happy writing mood. But please send us your story, because next week we're going to start a new story on Monday. So we want to finish that um, this one um, this weekend. All right, writers, we're so excited to see your story. Don't forget to include your feelings. All right, off you go.